everyone. I'm here to do a review for you for the product Spray Perfect that is a spray nail polish in a can. The thing that I found really cool about this product is the fact that when you spray it on your nails, you know, it gets all over your fingers, right? But then you can take your hands and just wash them right under the running water and the spray paint just comes right off your skin. They have seven shades that you can choose from and then they have this base and top coat here. You can buy two of these nail polish colors for $19.99 and you get your base and top coat and then you pay shipping and handling for $4.95. Now they only sell to the US. This product here is made in the US so that I really like. With each one of these cans you get 10 applications. I mean right here is like 30 applications. I'm going to read off some frequently asked questions and first of all how many applications are in each can? This is up to 10 full manicures or pedicures. And how many days will it last? And it says here it will last for up to five days. Is Spray Perfect safe to use on acrylic nails? Yes, and I would assume it's safe to use over hard gel. Is Spray Perfect tested on animals? No. It, does it contain formaldehyde? No, it does not. How is Spray Perfect removed from your nails? You just remove it with regular nail polish or acetone. Is Spray Perfect available internationally? Currently, Spray Perfect only ships within the continental United States. On this paper here are the color selections that you can choose from. I will also include the link in the description box so that you can go and check out the colors that they have available. The colors that I got, Passion Purple, Party Pink, Sexy Silver. And since silver and chrome nails are really hot out there, I am gonna go ahead and use that. And of course it comes with an instruction sheet. And don't mind my nails because I am in need of a fill. Now it says here to make sure that you have clean nails and that your hands are free of lotions and that you push back your cuticles and clean any cuticle uh, out of there. And I've already done that. We have to apply the base coat and apply it like you would nail polish. And you need to allow this to dry for two to three minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply that to all of my nails. It's dry. I put the timer on it for three minutes and it says there do not blow on it okay so just let it air dry it says to cover your work area so you don't have overspray you shake the can hold the can like four to six inches away from your nails and spray it hmm. wow it's taking a lot of paint but yeah all right, now it says to let this dry for three minutes. Do not blow on it. And then we're gonna apply the top coat. I let this dry for three minutes and now I'm gonna apply the top coat. I will say like this, uh, the paint around here, it feels like really powdery. Let this dry two to three minutes and apply another uh, layer. Okay, I'm back to apply the second coat of the top coat. And again, I will let that dry for two to three minutes. And then we'll go wash my hands and see. There is the nails after I washed them. You can see here that the paint is sticking there because I've got some top coat over uh, on the skin. So I'm just going to use some acetone and remove that. Here's the finished look of the nails. And I really like that color. It's very pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the other colors look like.
I'm back to share my final thoughts of the Spray Perfect Spray on Nail Polish. I really liked it. I think the application went on pretty easy. Now this base and top coat here, it is a little bit thick. And when you apply it, try to keep it thin and you know of course follow the directions like I showed you and when it comes time to wash your hands I recommend using cold water to wash your hands and not hot or warm reason being is that I had a little bit of problems on one of the nails where the nail polish wasn't all the way dry and I had it gouge and kind of smear on the edge and I think when you have uh, the warm or hot water it just helps to make the polish even more soft and cold water will kind of set it up and just be careful of that that's the only problem I had there and then the other problem I had is that when I used the top coat I kind of got some of the top coat around my skin so I ended up having to use some acetone and a brush to clean that out which wasn't that bad um, the nails look really good afterwards I was really surprised I found that with the silver polish, that was the one that made the most mess, you know, because you want to, you know, you have overspray and stuff. And I don't know, it just got little sparklies all over my work area. I mean, it cleaned up easily. It's not a problem. Um, out of all the colors, I think this pink here is my most favorite. It's beautiful. I really love it. As for like the price, it's worth it because you do get, you know, two cans and you get your base and top coat together and they say you get 10 applications out of a can so that would be 20 applications and uh, do take into account that I have longer nails and when I did find that when I had the long you know having longer nails when I sprayed my nails I kind of had to turn my nails you know back and forth to get a good coverage especially like around uh, the outside you know around the edges of my nails um, like right like this nail here you can see it, it's a little bit a, a thinner coverage right there because I didn't turn my nail all the way but I think with uh, shorter nails that probably is not going to be a problem you know if your nails are like real short Another thing I will say about the spray on nail polish is that it does smell. I do want to show you something on the back of this can here and let me zoom in because it is extremely flammable so you want to be careful there. And then here is a warning from the state of California and it says this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause birth defects and other reproductive harm. Different states in the United States have their own laws about how they prefer, you know, products to be labeled to be able to be sold in their state. I just always give honest, you know, reviews and I just want you to be able uh, to know that that is on there. And the last thing I'd like to mention is that I think that this would be excellent to use on toenails. I know a lot of people out there have difficulty painting their toenails at home and I think this would just make it so much easier. I really like this product. It's well worth the money. And I just want to say thank you so much to Kristen from Spray Perfect Spray On Nail Polish for contacting me and asking me to do a review for them because I really like this product. So thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.